it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can DIY your own Christmas wreath for under 15 pounds. Yes, under 15 pounds. And this is how it looks like. It looks so pretty. I loved it so much. And I'm also gonna be leaving some information now in the description below regarding the products that I'm using. And of course, I made my research and I found that you can actually buy all this for under 10 pounds and not 15 pounds. So let me show you guys. So I went to Poundland and I do want to share what I bought with you guys because it was so cheap that I couldn't even believe. So my reef, I paid five pounds and this one was only two pounds at Poundland and it's a garland, but you can definitely make it as a reef and it's gonna be even cheap and it's gonna look the same, beautiful. And I also found out that they sell yarns. So this is how they look like. I had another one and it's three for two pounds amazing and they had the colors red green and yellow as well so very cheap and very nice so i really hope you guys enjoy don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so let's get on with the video So I am here a little bit outside because I do want to paint my wreath. So I have here the white paint and this is the one that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be spray painting just quite slightly around my wreath. So before I spray paint I just want to puff it out a little bit more and then I'm just going to be spray painting and then you guys will see what I'm doing. So now I have to leave it drying for about 24 hours, but it says from 20 to 24 hours. So I'm gonna let it dry and when it's completely dry, I will come back and then we're gonna continue with the wreath. So as you can see, my wreath is already dry with the white. So before we start to decorate, we need to gather both ends. So there is wires right here at the end and we have to gather it together and just attach it with some wire. So my one came with a round wire, as you can see, this is how it looks like. And that will help you guys to attach both ends together. You're just gonna be putting both ends inside and then you have to press it. And what I'm gonna be using is a plier. So this is the one that I'm using. You wanna turn your reef so it's facing that way. And it's gonna be easier for you guys to put it together. So first you just wanna insert in one of the ends, like that, just hold it. And then you just wanna get the other one and also insert inside of the little circle. So now you just wanna hold both ends together and with your pliers, you just wanna squeeze it in. So you can see I'm pulling both ends and they are not kind of like separating. So that's good. First thing that I'm gonna be putting, it's going to be the fairy lights, as you can see. I have this one right here they are just like normal fairy lights. So what I'm gonna be doing first before I go all the way around with my fairy lights is just attaching the batteries on the side right here. And I'm gonna be using the reef just to cover the battery as you can see. And then you're not gonna be able to see that there is a battery right here. And to attach my batteries right here, I'm gonna be using the wire. I'm gonna be cutting the wire, inserting my wire inside of the loop then I'm just going to be twisting so it's a little bit more secured right here. And then I'm going to have both ends just to wrap around my reef. So I want to place it on the side. And then with both ends, I'm just going to be wrapping around. Moving to the back again. <laughs> 
and then just twisting very nice and tight at the back of my wreath, the wire. And then once you've done that, you can just cut the remaining of the wire at the back. So you can see that it's not secured enough. So what I'm gonna be doing is getting a little bit more of the wire and then I'm gonna be wrapping around the cable of my fairy light, as you can see, right here. And then I'm gonna be securing in place. So now we just have to cover this little box with the reef, with this side right here. So now you want to get your fairy lights and then you're just going to go all the way around your wreath. And then with the end of the fairy light, you just want to secure in one of the leaves. You can just secure in any of them. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the wire and then I'm just going to be wrapping around right here. So before you guys start decorating your wreath, you just want to know where it's going to be the top of your wreath. So mine is going to be right here where I've attached both ends together. So you just want to make sure that that's right on the top. So you want to place your first decoration right at the top and then you can continue decorating. And this one already came with the wire so you can attach on things, on the Christmas tree, on wreaths. So what I'm going to be doing is just deciding where I want to place it. And then I'm going to be turning on the back and then just twisting the wire together. So now is the time that you can just play around and attach all of your other decorations. So I have created a poinsettia flower out of crochet, as you can see. And I have three flowers. I have these three right here. So when I was doing my poinsettia flower, this is how it turned out at the end. So what I decided to do is just to fold it. So I have a little loop right at the bottom, as you can see at the back. And then what I'm going to do is just using a little bit of the wire. And then I'm just going to be putting the wire through the loop. And then I'm going to be twisting right at the bottom here. And then I'm going to be deciding where I want to place my first one. So I want my first one right here and then I'm just going to be turning it to the back and then I'm just going to be twisting the ends of the wire right here. So now I'm just going to be putting my other two right here and then I'll be back. So to continue, I'm going to get all of the decorations that I have, all of my ornaments and things that I want to put in my wreath and I'm gonna be starting to attach them. So the first thing that I'm gonna be attaching will be these ones right here with the string. So I'm just gonna go through the top right here, the loop, and then I'm just gonna be choosing some leaves right here, and then I'm just gonna create a little bow on the top. So now I'm just going to go around my wreath and then I'm going to be attaching a few just like this one. So for the rest of my decorations, I am going to be using a hot glue gun, but that's up to you. You can always use thread or you can use the wire if you want. And with the glue, I'm going to be attaching the pine cones and a few other sizes of ornaments as well. I have these bubbles right here. So you're just going to be applying the hot glue and then decide where you want to attach and then hold tight so now you can just go ahead and apply a few around your wreath So we almost finished and I just finished gluing all of my little decorations that I had to glue. So now I'm going to be using the natural thread. So this one right here, I showed you guys in the video. This is the one that I'm using now. So I have just cut a few little strings as you can see, and I'm just going to be creating bows, tiny ones just around my wreath. So 
so this is all for my decorations I think I cannot add too much because I have already the bigger flowers right here so that's quite a lot of statements already so the only thing that I have to do now is just to attach a little loop right at the top so we can just hang around the house so carefully I'm just gonna be facing this way my wreath I am gonna be using the thread for this part as well but if you want you can just have a ribbon instead of the thread but that's gonna be up to you I think for the style that I'm going for the thread looks a little bit better so for my loop it's gonna be around 40 centimeters that's around 16 inches so what I'm gonna be doing I'm just gonna be adding a few more threads just to be a little bit more secured there we go I have here three loops so I'm just gonna be cutting the bottom right here and then what I'm gonna be doing is just creating a knot in one of the ends just gonna be cutting the bottom right here but not too much I'm gonna be leaving a little bit like that so now you just want to get your loop you want to go through and around the reef just move things a little bit around and carefully and then you just want to go through the loop right at the top go all the way down and then grab the little kind of like the other end right here and you want to pull and that's it now you have a little loop right here so now the very last thing and to finish the wreath I'm just gonna be attaching a bow this is my last one so the pack came with two and I'm gonna be adding on the very top of my loop right here So this is everything for today's video guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I really loved how it turned out. It's my first time making a wreath so for me it's very very special and it's even more special that I'm making with you guys and sharing with you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed, also don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos, comment down below what you guys thought about my wreath and I'll see you guys soon on my next video, bye bye guys! Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow